the world will note that the first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. Having found the bomb, we have used it. We shall continue to use it until we completely destroy Japan's power to make war. The release of atom power has changed everything, Einstein said. With the development of nuclear weapons, man has acquired, for the first time in history, the technical means to destroy the whole of civilization in a single act. After the first and only use of nuclear weapons in history by the USA at the end of World War II, a supranational body, the United Nations, was created, with its first act being the establishment of a commission to deal with the problems raised by the discovery of atomic energy. The broad consensus was that nuclear science must never again be used for destruction, but rather harnessed for peaceful ends. Against the dark background of the atomic bomb, the United States pledges before the world its determination to help solve the fearful atomic dilemma, to devote its entire heart and mind to find the way by which the miraculous inventiveness of man shall not be dedicated to his death, but consecrated to his life. And so the Non-Proliferation Treaty, the NPT, was born a treaty consisting of three main points. Everyone with nuclear weapons would disarm. Everyone would agree not to proliferate any more nuclear weapons, and everyone would have the explicit right to develop a nuclear program for peaceful purposes. This treaty has now been signed by all but four countries in the world. The International Atomic Energy Agency, the IAEA, was created to monitor member state compliance and to help them develop peaceful nuclear programs. And the United Nations Security Council was designated as the enforcement arm of the treaty. And it's this treaty that is at the center of the dispute over Iran's nuclear program. Iran's nuclear program began in 1957 with US help through the Atoms for Peace initiative. It signed the NPT and began building nuclear power plants until 1979, when Khomeini took power and ended the program. The program was resumed with IAEA involvement in the 1980s during the Iran-Iraq war until 2003, when, amidst accusations that it had a secret nuclear weapons program, Iran volunteered to temporarily suspend all uranium enrichment and to sign additional protocols, allowing even closer monitoring. These voluntary confidence-building measures were to continue for a proposed six-month period till the IAEA could fully investigate the charges and the West could propose an agreement with objective ways Iran could satisfy the West that its program was purely peaceful. Six months dragged on to two years, and despite the fact that the IAEA's investigation concluded there was no evidence of a nuclear weapons program, the West never came up with ways Iran could prove its program was peaceful. Finally, they just proposed an agreement that Iran would permanently cease enrichment, effectively giving up its right under the NPT. Of course, Iran refused this offer and, citing its inalienable right to do so, resumed enriching under the supervision of the IAEA. The matter was then referred to the UN Security Council, who ordered Iran to cease all enrichment. Iran refused, and ever since then, this standoff has been the central point of contention, with Iran refusing to give up its right under the NPT and the West escalating sanctions and threatening direct military action against Iran for, quote, failing to meet its international obligations. And what does the intelligence have to say about Iran's nuclear program? Since 2003, the IAEA has continuously reported that it has been able to verify the non-diversion to non-peaceful purposes of declared nuclear material in Iran and with continued intensive monitoring has maintained that position to this day. Affirming the IAEA's reports are the National Intelligence Estimates, the most authoritative intelligence reports in the United States, 
representing the consensus of all 16 of its intelligence agencies, who released reports in 2003, 2007, and 2010, affirming with a high level of confidence that Iran currently has no nuclear weapons program. North Korea, India, Pakistan, and Israel are the only four nations in the world who have not signed the NPT, and all of them have nuclear weapons. Iran is a compliant signatory to the NPT under IAEA supervision, and the intelligence indicates no nuclear weapons program. Yet Israel and America are threatening to even use nuclear bombs against Iran for its failure to, quote, meet international obligations. A preemptive war to stop another weapons program that doesn't exist?